It was incredibly shocking. At 24, Taylor Runkle was enjoying life, having fun, hanging with friends, you know, what 24 year olds do. I all of a sudden noticed I had to start shaving around this mole on my calf. A tiny change in her skin suddenly made a big change in her world. Two weeks later, after I got the mole shaved off, um, they called me and said, this is melanoma um, that, you know, is a form of skin cancer and your mind just goes blank. Stage three melanoma. Her next stop was surgery to remove the cancer and a skin graft from her thigh to fix it. How could this happen at 24, no less? I, you know, was somebody that would go into a tanning bed before prom or before a spring break trip, you know, to get that base tan. And now I know that that base tan is a complete lie. Any type of tan like that is damaging your skin cells. She's right. There's absolutely no such thing as a base tan. Any darkening of the skin indicates that DNA damage. It's your DNA protecting itself that's making that color. Dr. Mohiba so Tareen says even one trip to the tanning bed can increase your risk of melanoma by 30%. One in 58 people in this country will develop a melanoma in their lifetime. And one person every hour dies from melanoma in America. And to think, it can be prevented. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends SPF 30 and above. SPF 30 has been shown to block about 97% of UV rays. Sun protective clothing is also great because unlike sunscreen, there's no need to reapply. And when it can save your life, it seems like a no brainer. Unfortunately, we just don't know what will happen, you know, 10, 20 years down the line. For me, it was only, you know, five years. Minnesota-based Kula Bar makes sun protective clothing. 100% of the proceeds from their This is Brave line will go to Melanoma Research Foundation. We have more information about melanoma and some links for you at care11.com.